everyone and welcome back. Today I'm sharing with you all a recipe for a curry corn pie. This recipe is going to be so delicious and the best part is there are no eggs in this. So stay tuned, let me show you how easy this one is to make. To start this recipe, you're going to put your pan on medium heat. I'm using my homemade golden ray butter here and you can find that recipe on my channel. I'm going in with aromatic, so chopped onions, grated carrots, bell peppers, celery, scythe or scallions, garlic, and give this a mix. And also I went in with some pimento peppers. Add a little salt and add in one teaspoon of citrus seasoning. This citrus seasoning is my go-to all-purpose seasoning, so you'll see me using it a lot in recipes because I just love the flavor that I get from it. So saute your veggies until slightly tender crisp and then we're going to go in with turmeric powder. It's going to give it a really lovely yellow color. It's about a quarter of a teaspoon and one teaspoon of nine spice curry powder. Now we're going to let this cook in here for about a minute. You want to cook out the curry toast it with those veggies and then we'll add in some water to help this cook. It's smelling so fragrant right now that nine spice curry is so perfect in this recipe and it has very little bit but you'll definitely get that lovely light curry taste. So allow this to cook until the curry starts to thicken. And then we'll add in the rest of ingredients. So I'm using roasted corn here. It makes a, such a difference in the taste of this pie and cream corn. In goes coconut milk or you can use evaporated milk here. Give that a mix. Now at this point you want to taste this mixture and you want it to be really flavorful. If it has a little extra salt, guess what? You don't have to worry because the cornmeal will go in next and it's going to absorb any extra salt. So you really want it to salt that a little more on the heavier side so that the corn by itself would taste really yummy. So I'm adding in the cornmeal and some Parmesan cheese and I'm going to give this a mix along with some regular cheese. I like using a Papa Jack cheese here. So you want to mix, mix, mix. If it's overly thick, you'll want to add some more milk or you can add a little water. But I prefer, so I'm going to add in some milk. Now you don't want this to be too runny, but this is the consistency you're looking for. There are no eggs in this recipe to bind it, so you don't want this to be overly runny. And then you put it into your greased baking dish. Spread it out evenly. And then we'll top it with some more cheese. Use whatever cheese you like or you have on hand. I have two different types of cheese here because I'm just using what I have in my refrigerator. And this goes to bake at 350 for 45 minutes or until it's brown and beautiful golden color. Allow it to cool down completely before you cut into it. If you try to cut into this while it's hot, it's going to fall apart on you unless you don't mind that. And you're going to get the perfect squares. Just look how beautiful that looks. I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Try it, let me know what you think. If you like the pot that I used in this video, I'll link it down be below for you all. Thank you all so much for joining me. Leave me your comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.